Arc Mage at level 4.8, almost at level 5, so he'll will be get seeing level 3 water elementals pretty soon. It's got for putting out this expansion um, to try and get more gold because the main gold mine should be running out just very soon. Oh no, never mind, they still have like 5,000 gold. And nice silence being casted on almost all of these casters by the Dark Ranger. So that Dark Ranger actually is a pretty good counter. I never even thought of this, but the Dark Ranger is a pretty good castle dog counter to all of these spell casters because because he can just cast silence and the sorceresses will not be able to he cast some um, slow the priest will not be able to heal so pretty nicely done mm. wow that's delicious you guys have no idea what I'm talking about this this milkshake is absolutely amazing and I, and I drink a lot of smoothies it's like my fifth food category and it's pretty healthy too it's just a little bit of vanilla ice cream a couple of bananas and milk skim milk so it's actually not that unhealthy I did put a lot of ice cream though it's not healthy obviously but you know what can you do I'm a growing boy <laughs> So now Scoffer did what Scoffer did just there is he did go for like a sort of a base trade, but what he did is he by attacking the main base of Saya, Saya was forced to TP back and he saved his own to save his own base so that Scoffer could save this town hall in his expansion. It's not called the town hall, what's it called? The Great Hall. We may see another push here from Saya's large cat pretty large caster army. A one wind rider will get caught out, that's really too bad. So that Wind Rider will go down, feeding more and more experience. So Saya has a 50 over 54 army against Scoffer's 56 over 70 army. So a pretty good six Wyverns now. That's, those Wyverns are four food each, I think. So that's um, pretty, uh, they're pretty bulky units. They, not bulky, but they, they take up a lot of food. Now Silence being casted on all of those bloody casters. So really nicely done there. On the Archimedes, level five Archimedes will go down. So Kind of a turn, a, a, a game from Changer right there. Is that all he has now is like a level three Beastmaster, a couple water elementals, and all of these casters. Will, all he has, all uh, Scoffer has to do is cast Silence, and those casters are basically useless. Nice slow being casted on almost all of the units of Scoffer. Beastmaster now might get focused at some time soon. We may be seeing the Beastmaster focus, but the more Wind Riders are going to be taken down. Feeding a lot of experience to that Beastmaster, but is he level 4 yet? No, almost level 4 though. More silence being casted onto the um, casters so that they can, can, they are basically useless as these Feral Spirits will just try and chase them down. Chase down the priest there. And that silence lasts for a long time, wow. That's a pretty good effect. And the Beastmaster is now also very low on hit points. And he will not revive the Archmage at the Tavern, he will revive the Archmage the old-fashioned way at the Altar of Kings. Which will take quite a long time, to be honest. More Wind Riders coming out. I don't really like the Wind Riders idea. I'm gonna stick to that. I'm not a big fan of Wind Riders. I just don't like them. I'm just against them. I'm a troll hater. I hate everything. No, I don't. Well, no. He's just gonna regroup in his base, I think. Gonna build, rebuild his arcane vault, which was taken down before, so he can probably bring out some more sp spell breakers. Because to build those spell breakers, you need an arcane vault. It's required. And Sai is just gonna send in his summons over to this expansion and kill off the peasants. This is very smart. Whenever you have a unit like Feral, feral Spirits or Quill Beasts or Water Elementals, what you need to do if you're just sort of regrouping, there's not much you can do. You send, you take your summons, you send them into the expansion, and you just auto-target. You just click attack the ground, and they'll just kill off those peasants one by one. And then even another Quill Beast going to go in, try and take down the, that expansion. We may see a bit of a push now from Scoffer. He does have four grunts and three wind riders so this should be quite interesting but there's a lot of casters that can easily be silenced from that dark ranger what Sai should probably be doing is he should probably spread those out so that oh but he, he's unaware of the dark green army 
go. If I was Saya, I would probably want to spread out those casters as much as I can so that the silence can't be casted on as many people. And nicely done there by Scoffer with that Feral Spear. Gonna cancel that Clarity Potion on that Archmage. So that Archmage still stays at very low mana. Now the Windrider's gonna come back here. Gonna try and kill off the, um, these casters, I think. Oh, they're changing courses once again. Gonna change paths. Beastmaster at level 4.5, Archmage level 5.3, Dark Ranger level 5, Farseer level 5. So a 5-5 five five against a 5-4. Pretty, pretty even, Dark Green with a small hero advantage. And these Wind Riders will, I don't know what Scott was trying to do there, but he just lost two Wind Riders to these towers who are so good against Wind Riders. Wind Riders are useless against towers. Wow. I can't believe he just did that. He just lost two Wind Riders for nothing. He did basically no damage. These Quill Beasts will take down that Grunt pretty easily, as we will see Sai is going to try and take down the rest of this expansion. And, you s and the second effect that the um, Beastmaster did choose was the Bear instead of the Hawk. The Hawk is basically... I'm not a big fan of the Hawk. Well, I actually... I Sorry. Take that back. I'm more... I'm not a big fan of the um, Bear because the Hawk, I find the Hawk is a lot better because the Hawk is an air unit and it's pretty good for scouting. You can scout pretty well with the Hawk. So I think Sai did what I said I wanted him to do. He did spread them out, sort of, sort of. He could have done a bit better of a job without the, uh, when Silence was cast on a lot of these units. More of the casters will just get torn to shreds and turn into more Dark Dominions, which is every unit that Scoffer kills, he also gains one because of that Dark Ranger. More Wind Riders though are just gonna get focused down by Saya pretty and you will have a pretty easy time focusing down those Wind Riders with these summons and his Archmage and right and he's actually coming out with some riflemen as well. So far it's been a pretty pretty in, interesting game. And Saya accidentally lost track of his woodcutters and actually there's a massive hole in his base now. If only well only Scoffer knew about this, then he could just charge right in. I didn't even notice this the first time I did a commentary on this game. He could easily just charge right in here and take down these buildings. But Side so does have a lot of towers, so maybe not. But he could take down a lot of the peasants with those wind riders and feral spirits. More casters now. Another water elemental going to go down. Another wind rider also going to go down. So even though that Saya only has these two heroes, he's easily going to be able to take on these these Wind Riders because of all his summons. Those Wind Riders are, they go down, they fall pretty easily. They have zero armor, 570 hit points, so they're not that bulky unit, very bulky units at all. Nice use of invisibility on these units from that Sorceress to try and save, save as many as he can. And another Sorceress will go down, yes. Only a few priests left, and sorceress is left, and as well as a rifleman. But Sai now going to come in and try and take down a grunt, and the rifleman does go down. He's going to take down a wind rider, I'm pretty sure. Now the archmage is getting heavily focused. He wants to try and micro that archmage away, just pop a potion of healing, and gets that level 6 on that archmage. That's incredible. The archmage will now have his level 6 effect, that teleportation effect, which is huge. Now the Farseer will go down, yes! The Farseer, level 5 Farseer goes down. That's another, yet another game changer for Saya. As now Saya, now it's Saya's game to lose rather than Scoffer's, so... This is the second climax of the game where... First Saya started off pretty strong, then after killing the hero, Scoffer sort of took the lead a bit. But then Saya's come back now and take, well, after taking down that Farseer. More casters though being taken, a lot of casters now being taken down though from these feral spirits. Nice silence being casted so that slow can't be casted onto the Dark Ranger. More casters being targeted by these summons. A oh, nice use of dispel there by those priests to try and, and take down the remaining casters. Beastmaster at level 6 as well, so that Beastmaster at level 6 effect is really good at, too because um, it does a lot of damage to buildings and stuff. I'm just going to fast forward this a bit because it's not that entertaining to watch Green regroup his army. And uh, you'll see Sai now is going to come in and go for to try and take down the expansion. Excuse me, I'm just going to take a trick of my, my 
milkshake. All right, we're back. The expansion will actually go down. Scoffer does not even try to save it as the main gold mines are have run out. So both players are going to be very um, conservative on their money. I'm going to try and save every unit that they can. I'm going to put it back to normal speed. Sai has a lot of peasants now doing some long distance mining to try and maybe build an expansion later on. The farce are getting revived just in time before that arc altar storms being and gets taken down. And cool. That's such a cool effect. Check it out. All these like cool, these lizards are gonna come in and just t attack those buildings, just gonna run in and go kamikaze on those buildings and they'll go and they take so much damage. That's so cool. I love that. That's really awesome. Altar King's now gonna get focused down. And we're going to see Scoffer's going to get very low on buildings. He won't have that many buildings left. Two more. Another Beast Jerry getting taken down. Now the barracks is being focused. This Orc Burrow is pretty f full of, full of uh, peons, but it still won't do that much damage. It really won't. As Scoffer's going to take whatever army he has left and try and take down that Archmage. But nice invisibility being casted by that Sorceress to save that Archmage. Very nicely done. I didn't even notice that last time I did this commentary. There's a lot of there's a lot of new things that you discover when you do it for the second time, watch it for the second time, even though I kind of spazzed the first time. It was pretty, fu it was pretty funny actually. I, could re I spazzed. And, um, there's a lot of cool little things that you don't see the first time. I had one Wind Rider gonna get taken down by Saya. Just scoffer down to a pretty low army. Another Wind Rider going down, so only one Wind Rider left before he'll be down to just his heroes and a, f and a grunt or two. Silence being casted, I th think. Nope. And that that Dark Ranger, very low on hit points. Invisibility being casted on it. I'm, I think of... I, I, damn, I forgot to look at it. Ah, damn, I was I'm planning on looking at how he casted that invisibility, but I'm not sure how he did. I th I'm not sure if he popped a potion or somehow. I have no freaking clue. I really don't. I don't know. The only thing that comes to mind is he used a potion of some or some kind or something. I don't know. Anyways, silence being casted on the units of Saya as he takes the try and get this Stark Ranger is going to get very low on hit points. More casters going to get taken down by these feral spirits. Saya is losing a lot of casters. He's, these casters 